The Leiden frost effect is a fascinating physical phenomenon that occurs when a liquid comes into contact with a surface significantly hotter than its boiling point. Instead of boiling away quickly, the liquid forms an insulating layer of vapor that prevents it from evaporating immediately. This vapor layer keeps the liquid droplet from touching the hot surface, allowing it to levitate and move around with little friction. Here's a detailed explanation. 1. Basic concept when a droplet of liquid, such as water, is placed on a surface that is just above its boiling point, the liquid will boil rapidly and evaporate. However, if the surface temperature is much higher, typically several hundred degrees Celsius, something unusual happens, the liquid doesn't immediately evaporate. Instead, it forms a thin layer of vapor between itself and the hot surface. This layer of vapor acts as an insulator, slowing down the heat transfer from the hot surface to the liquid. 2. Formation of the vapor layer 1. Initial contact When the droplet first contacts the extremely hot surface, the part of the liquid touching the surface vaporizes almost instantly, creating a thin film of gas vapor. 2. Vapor cushion The vapor produced continues to accumulate beneath the droplet, creating a cushion that lifts the droplet off the surface. 2. The liquid is now effectively floating on its own vapor. 3. Thermal insulation. This vapor layer is a poor conductor of heat compared to the liquid. 3. Because of this, the heat from the surface doesn't transfer as efficiently to the liquid, preventing the rapid boiling that would normally occur. 3. Dynamic behavior of the droplet. 1. Levitating motion. The vapor layer is dynamic, constantly replenished by the evaporation of the liquid, and it allows the droplet to glide or skate across the surface with minimal friction. 1. The droplet appears to dance or move erratically due to the interactions between the vapor layer and the liquid above it. 2. Longevity. Due to the insulating effect of the vapor layer, the droplet can persist on the hot surface for a much longer time than it would if the surface were at a lower temperature. 2. It evaporates more slowly because the direct contact with the hot surface is minimized. 4. Temperature threshold. 1. The Leiden frost effect only occurs at temperatures significantly above the liquid's boiling point, called the Leiden frost point. 1. For water. This is typically around 200 degrees Celsius, 392 degrees Fahrenheit, or higher, though the exact temperature can vary depending on the surface material and other conditions. 2. Below the Leiden frost point, the liquid would simply boil and evaporate normally, without forming the insulating vapor layer. 5. Applications and Implications 1. Cooling and Heat Transfer the Leiden frost effect has practical implications in cooling and heat transfer processes. 1. For example, in industrial settings, understanding this effect is important when designing cooling systems to avoid inefficient heat transfer. 2. Chemical reactions. The effect can also influence chemical reactions, particularly those that involve heating liquids on surfaces, as the vapor layer can change the reaction dynamics. 3. Demonstrations and novelty. The Leiden frost effect is often demonstrated in physics classes and experiments, where a droplet of water is shown to levitate and move on a hot plate. 3. It's also the basis for the Leiden frost maze, a fun experiment where a droplet is guided through a maze using the Leiden frost effect. 6. Visual and experimental observations. 1. Behavior of different liquids, the Leiden frost effect can be observed with various liquids, not just water. 1. However, the specific temperature at which the effect occurs will vary based on the boiling point and properties of the liquid. 2. Effect of surface texture, the texture and material of the surface can influence the Leiden frost effect. 2. For instance, rough surfaces can disrupt the vapor layer making it less stable, whereas smooth surfaces can enhance the effect. 7. 
Underlying Physics 1. Heat Transfer and Fluid Dynamics The light and frost effect is governed by principles of heat transfer, fluid dynamics, and phase change. 1. The insulating vapor layer is a key factor as it drastically reduces the rate of heat transfer from the surface to the liquid. 2. Stability of the vapor layer The stability of the vapor layer is influenced by several factors, including the temperature difference, the properties of the liquid, and the surface characteristics. 2. The layer must remain stable enough to support the droplet, yet dynamic enough to allow the continuous evaporation that sustains it. The Leiden frost effect is a striking demonstration of how extreme temperatures can lead to counterintuitive behavior in liquids, showcasing the complex interplay between heat transfer and fluid dynamics.